Hi everyone, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessie. In today's video, we are going to tackle about this new palette from Essence Cosmetics. I think it has been a while since I reviewed something from them. I can't even remember the last video that I made about this brand. So anywho, this is called Spice Up Your Life Palette. And let me just give you guys a little sneak peek. Look at all these beautiful colors. They actually released three palettes, so if you guys want to see the rest of the palettes, make sure that you guys subscribe. As always, I'm going to give you guys some little details about it, where you can get it, what's the price, give you guys some swatches, and then after that, I will let you guys know. Oh, no. <laughs> of course, I will show you guys how I created this look right over here, and I will let you guys know my overall thoughts. So these are the three palettes that they came out recently that I was talking about. They are $9.99 each. So you have fairy wings and magical things. Inside is more of like pastel-y shades of color. And then you have I'm with the band. It's more of like purpley blue toned eyeshadows. And then today we are going to focus on the Spice Up Your Life. So the whole packaging is made out of cardboard, very, very, very lightweight, perfect for traveling, and it has a dual-sided palette design. Looks like this, doesn't have any mirror or applicator. So starting from the top palette, you have all of the eyeshadow shades right over here. As you guys can see, some of them are a little bit patchy, but the swatches are so much better than the previous palette that I have reviewed. So if you guys are new here, I really do not put anything on the back of my hand. It's just my bare skin and I just swatched it one time. So now let's move on to the fun part where I try the eyeshadows. But first, I'm going to start working on with my brows. Now I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate and I'm using my favorite MAC angled brush. To start off, I'm going to grab the shade called Vanilla Bean. This is a really nice white matte cream shade and that is going to be my wash color. And of course, I am going to try the Cha Cha Sriracha shade because why not? It is the most vibrant color out of every eyeshadow in this palette. After that, I'm going to get the shade called Wild Pepper. You guys are going to love this shade because it has really nice flecks of glitter. So right now, I am gently packing the color. You know what? I just realized I could have just used my finger for this because the last time it wasn't really packing well and I'm using a fluffy brush. So I'm like, why did I use a fluffy brush? So now I'm going to grab a hot chili and apply that all over my lid as well. So I want something that is a little dark for today, but not like super, super dark. Oh my gosh, I'm so complicated. I hate myself. So I just thought, you know what, I want more depth. So I'm going to get this shade and apply that on the inner and outer corner of my eye. So it's going to look like a, like a halo eye, I guess. So for my foundation, I will be using Born This Way. It has been a while since I have used this foundation. It doesn't really work well with my skin, but I want to use it because it's a little expensive and I want to make the most out of it. So to set my foundation, I will be using the Clinique Transparency Powder. Girl, nobody talks about this powder, but it's so good. Like, it's just $25. Are you kidding me? Like, it's cheap and it works. And it's not cakey, okay? So normally, this bronzer doesn't really show up 100% on my skin, but since I know that the foundation is a little light for my skin tone, I thought that, you know what, this is going to show up on my skin, especially if my foundation is light. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over my face. Yes, I just really love the silkiness of this bronzer. I wish they have more shades. For my blush, I'm going to be getting Rockateur. And then apply that on the apples of my cheeks and ass cheeks. No, <laughs> just the apples of my cheeks. I'm sorry. And then I'm going to pop on some lashes. I don't have any lashes, so this really, you know, makes up for everything. <laughs> it completes the whole entire look. 
And then after that, we will apply my favorite, favorite Nothing On Eyeliner from MAC. This is my only staple for my lower waterline. I can't find anything that will replace the color of this eyeliner just so because it just looks so... I love it, okay? Because the other ones are like really exaggerated. I don't like it. I'm not cosplaying. It's just... It just really pops out the eye really nicely. No, 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 not pops out the eye. It makes you look awake, okay? So I'm gonna smoke it out a little bit because we wanna look a little sexy today. So I'm using a pencil brush to apply a bronzer. And now let's apply mascara on the lower lashes and it's going to complete the whole eye makeup look. It's gonna make everything look so, so sexy. So for my lip liner, I am actually using the Love Melissa Michelle in Dainty. And then for my liquid lipstick, I will be using Chica Dose of Colors. I love Sarahi collaboration. They, the color doesn't look alike, but uh, I'm too lazy to stand up, so I'm just going to use this one instead. So this is the final makeup look, guys. You like that? If you guys notice, I'm not like putting highlight all the time because I'm not a highlighter girl. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Okay, I feel like there's a little bit of problem when it comes to the blendability of the eyeshadows and they do not cling best if you already have like a wash color all over your lid. My advice is for you guys not to set your primer and then go directly to the crease if you're going to do a halo eye or all over the lid and then just blend outwards because... You know, I've tried a couple of shades and they're like, mm, a little weak. For these shimmery shadows, I suggest just use your fingers. They would cling better with a little bit of pressure. So there's a little bit of fallout, but you can definitely work your way with it if you wanted to. So that is pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are still not part of this SC family, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, watch out for my other videos. I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Oh my gosh. I have the corniest intro and closing. <laughs> Bye.